What's up guys, DK here with Collector's Impact, and going up and up on Rudy's taco chart there, we are going to open this box of MetaZoo, first edition, Cryptid Nation uh, cards today. So <laughs> this is going to be a pretty chill video, as I'm sure that it's going to be uh, rather long, because we're going to go ahead and open all 36 packs and see what this set um, is all about. As of the filming of this video, I have not done any spoilers, actually. Uh, I have not looked at other box openings. I haven't even looked at spoiler lists. I mean, I've seen a few random cards just browsing eBay, but I, I haven't done very much research into it as I wanted to be nice and surprised and see the cards firsthand so that you get my, uh, my reaction to them. A little bit of background on where I got the box, as I'm sure you can tell here by the playmat and these wonderful promo cards. <laughs> this is actually one of the kits that went out from Rudy at Alpha Investments. He had a thousand kits that he sold to patrons. And I will go ahead and say I am not a patron. Uh, I kind of wish that I was, but I am a long time viewer and subscriber to uh, Alpha Investments. I've been watching him since 2016. So since pretty much since the beginning, these are actually really limited uh, in production. So I'm very glad to have one. He mentioned that there's, of course, a thousand that went out in, in each kit as there were a thousand kits. And then he has some extras. He doesn't yet know what to do with them. I'm hoping that he'll disperse them to the public somehow, um, but he may not. Who, who knows? Either way, they're pretty limited in production. So very stoked to have that. And then Similar case with this, though I don't know the exact print runner info on this. If anyone has it, definitely leave it in the comments section as that would be helpful for other collectors. But this is the release event medal um, that was only given to people who either attended the first edition Cryptid Nation release event or uh, were one of Rudy's patrons that got this kit. <clears throat> for this box, it is actually uh, pretty beat up, as you may have seen in, in Rudy's videos. If you watch his channel, of course, Alpha Investments, he needs no plug. He's an amazing uh, YouTuber, very, very popular in the card space. So. <laughs> so you probably have seen it, but just in case you haven't, he did mention that a lot of the packages were damaged in shipping. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this one definitely is one of those packages. So of the MetaZoo boxes that I have, this one is the worst. So I'm going to go ahead and remove its seal and use it for the box opening today. Before we jump into it as well, I do want to mention I am not sponsored by MetaZoo. I am not sponsored by Rudy. I am an independent collector. Uh, this is obviously my little channel here, Collector's Impact. And on here, we're just going through, having fun, opening some packs, and checking out this new product to see uh, to see what it's all about, to see if it's got some investment potential, good collecting potential, and just, uh, just have a good time with it. So it is actually really easy to tear right along the, um, right along the sealed edge. It's actually really easy to tear, so I don't know if that's good or bad or what. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit more rigid than, say, like a Wizards of the Coast uh, wrapper is. It, so that's that's kind of interesting. And then, of course, once you get into it, it has a little sticker here. So there's a sticker there, and there's a sticker on the bottom as well that are there to seal the box shut. So even if it doesn't have the cellophane, you still got that. So you're going to have some evidence if it's been tampered with uh, once the sticker gets pulled up like that. Oh, look at that. Okay, so the box actually comes with a box topper pack. <laughs> hey, yeah, so here is the box topper little pack. So that's cool. And the packs are actually a little bit uneven in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull them out, count them, and uh, see, see how they are. So all is well, of course, with those packs, as expected. They're just uh, a little uneven in the box. So that's kind of something to note as well. So Let's go ahead and open up this uh, box topper pack and see what we got. Now, again, I actually don't know uh, very much about these cards at all. So even if I pull something amazing, I'm going to have no idea, you guys. <laughs> so just let me know in the comments, I guess. Uh, and I'll, I'm sure I'll find out after the filming of the video and I start researching the cards. But dang, so there's something to look out for, uh, guys. If you're If you're getting these, don't use the pull tab. That would be my little... A little bit of advice there. I dinged the corner, so ooh. <laughs> All right, we've got some scissors here. Go ahead and cut away from that border, of course. And I got a 
flame aura. All right. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's just a gigantic fire. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or not. Um, Illustrator Poncho, 5 of 10. So I have no idea, you guys. <laughs> and let's start getting into these. Now, each pack has its own little pull tab. So I'm hoping that these pull tabs don't all result in like damaged cards and stuff. So I'm just going to try it with the first one here, see how that goes. Yeah, they're not that easy to open. Uh, hmm. So, in terms of how they feel, they're definitely different feeling from, say, Pokemon or Magic. They are pretty unique feeling. I'm not sure exactly what to think there. Let's go ahead and try and open it the classic Magic way. Okay, that works better than the pull tab. The pull tab, to me, is aesthetic. That is definitely an aesthetics thing. That is not practical unless you want to damage the cards. So we've got a silver cat, paralyze, lightning bolt. <laughs> All right, good old uh, beta, alpha beta magic stuff. Frozen people, black cat, uh, miracle touch, two miracle touches back to back, hmm. and a chupacabra. <laughs> Hell yes, I was gonna say, you guys, I was actually gonna say that, like, I don't know very much about cryptid monsters, uh, I'll just go ahead and say that, like, in, in real life at least, I mean, I know that there's, like, a huge following of cryptids and stuff, so pretty much, like, Bigfoot and Chupacabra, and maybe something like the Mothman, that's, that's pretty much as in-depth as I get, I know that there's a ton uh, on the record or whatever, and people believe in and stuff, but I just, I just don't know it too much. So this will be extra fun, uh, learning some of those if they're in here, which I'm sure they are. So daytime and the earth aura. So, okay, so that fire one, the flame one, I'm assuming, I'm just going to assume that these are like the energy cards in Pokemon. Don't know that for a fact yet. Obviously, as I said, I don't even know how to play, but yeah, that's my assumption. Either way, I'm stoked as hell to have the Chupacabra. <laughs> that was definitely one of the cryptids that I wanted to have. Let's go ahead and open this green one here. And one thing that we need to look for on this next opening is the rarity symbols for the cards. I want to see if they have actual, like, clearly defined rarity and stuff. I didn't see it at a glance, but let's go ahead and look. Tripodro. Podro. Okay. Uh, old green eyes. God, that's creepy looking, man. Moon-eyed people. Alien astronaut. <laughs> Earthquake, Morpheus, uh, Luck Potion, Snarly Gaster, Snarly Gaster, you guys, yeah, I have no idea, I do notice right away that on the foils, there's a little star, see, this is not going to be so much an informational video as I just, I just don't know, this is more of a chill and open video, so this star is red, and this star is silver, um, not sure if that has any significance yet, but that is just something that I've noticed. Uh, so I've noticed that at least for those. Dark Aura, yeah, these are like energies. They gotta be. Okay, this Desert card, it has a star in the corner. So maybe that's a rare. But then this doesn't have anything that I'm noticing. And the others... They don't either. So maybe I'm missing something here. Uh, but I'm not seeing any other rarity symbols. At least nothing that's super obvious. It is really funny. It is so obvious that this card game is heavily inspired by, we'll say, Pokemon. Especially in terms of the packaging. I mean, let's just look at this. So, that collectible card game, same exact box and size as the original Pokemon one. The overall layout and feel of the artwork and the fonts... And the color schemes, I mean, it is like down, it is, <laughs> it is, uh, it is very obviously inspired by Pokemon. There is no denying or getting around that whatsoever. Snow Snake, that's cool. Moon-Eyed People, Necromancy, Space Penguins, Retribution, Grounding, Miracle Touch again, and Tizarok, Tizarok, I, it's cool, it's a dragon. Dragon and its star is red. Yeah, so it's got a red star like the Chupacabra. 
So that's got to be special. That's just my two cents at the moment, of course. Here's the farm, and that's got the star again, and then the water aura. Uh, this is interesting. So when you pull down the flap, it says 1 in 30 cards are holographic. 2 in 30 cards are reverse holographic. Okay, old green guy, the aliens, cactus cat, thorn whip. Oh, that's cool. Salem's witches. All right, I'm a pretty big fan of Salem and the witch trials and that kind of lore. So that is cool. And when I do play the game, I will be using this for sure. That is awesome. Awesome. Badass, man. <laughs> It'd be like Johnny Lawrence. It's badass, man. It's, it's, it's totally badass. Kentucky Hellhound. Here we go. Unending Fire Crystal. Beautiful card, man. I love that. Oh, and that's a red star, too. So maybe the red stars are more common than the silver star. I, I don't know. <laughs> this is really fascinating. Either way, it looks like a Mox Ruby caught on fire, and I'm loving it. I'm going to set aside the witches because I really like it. And I'm going to set aside the undying fire crystal. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> that was really rough. Oh, okay. Sam's rabbit foot. Uh, Paralyze, lightning bolt, tripod guy, menehune, menehune. I don't know. It's interesting artwork. Fire trap, that's cool. Grounding, <laughs> I like that. This is like Harry Potter, and he's like uh, redirecting the spell or whatever. <laughs> that's pretty, pretty awesome. Though that's also like, uh, God, I, I, you know, I don't remember that in Harry Potter, though it's probably there, but I'm thinking of like Avatar, the last airbender, redirecting the lightning bolt. That's, that's what it reminds me of. And here's a ghost deer um, foil. So, you know, maybe these are the reverse holographics because uh, <laughs> I'm getting them more frequently. So maybe they are. And the river and the frost. Very cool. Matlocks. That's <laughs> okay. Uh, telekinesis. It makes me think of Matlock, the, the old show. Uh, lightning bolt. Uh, white Tang, again, now that's like some, um, oh, Momo, right, from Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm seeing some Last Airbender references. I don't know if that's just me and my crazy head or if they're really there. Uh, okay, there's that. And Fresno Nightcrawlers. Uh, if that is a real cryptid or whatever, it's really pretty bizarre. I'll just say that. Stars, that's beautiful. I like that one a lot. And the forest again. Very cool. Yep, Chaos Potion, Lava Bear, <laughs> Poison Arrow, Matlocks again, Kentucky Hellhound, <laughs> Light Beam, Thorn Whip, Lizard Man of Scape. What? Okay, well, this is a, a foil, and it's uh, Lizard Man of Scape or Swamp. Okay, that's probably a real cryptid somewhere out there. <laughs> right? Um,. Yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and say that this is probably the foil, as there's the silver star, and we get less of these, that's for sure. So where the actual thing is foil, where the background is foil, and the creature is not, I'm going to now assume that's the foil. Got us a beautiful tropical island. You know, some of these would make great proxies for magic cards. I don't know if they were going for that, too, but it's a double use for some of the cards. <laughs> Matlock, Snow Snake. Okay, so we've seen some of these, so we'll just go ahead and start blowing through a few of them, calling out ones that really, like, powered up. Power up green. That looks pretty cool. Ah, Chaos Crystal. And this one is foil again. Uh... You may fatigue this page at any time to generate three aura of any type. Well, you guys, um, considering that I am a Magic the Gathering player at heart, I'm going to assume this is a Black Lotus. <laughs> That's going to be my assumption. Uh, zero cast. You may fatigue it, which, uh, yeah. 
I'm assuming that either means throw it in the graveyard. That would be my assumption. Um, at any time to generate three aura of any type. That is a that is a black lotus. I don't know. Could be wrong there, but that that's what it's looking like to me. Uh, I'm gonna set that aside over here. Bat squatch. <laughs> that's really cool. Oh, uh, sewer alligator. Okay, so we're getting some new ones. There's a health potion. Now that's like uh, from the Legend of Zelda. Gotta be. Gotta be a reference to Zelda. Uh, red potion. You know, there's probably a lot of other little references in here that I'm kind of missing. There's that uh, snarly gaster uh, card again. And actually, that one. Hang on. So here we go. So we've got the regular foil and the reverse foil <laughs> version of it. And yeah. The star on this one is red, the star on that one is silver. I'm going to assume this is reverse, that's regular. Even though it really could go either way. But I, I'm obviously talking about this too damn much, you guys, but it's blowing my mind. <laughs> As I'm just so used to reverse foil being the whole dang card, whereas the artwork is not. So this is new to me. Um, yeah. Either way, I've got both versions of that card. Man, some of these are so ridiculous to open. Got Momo again. Killer Clown from Outer Space. It's either the Killer Clown from Outer Space or it's uh, like Zebo or Bozo or some crap. Uh, Cactus, Ice Storm, Icy Path, Book of Shadows. That's nice. I like that one. <laughs> Seems that I'm liking all the dark stuff. Hey, Bigfoot. <laughs> Just classic Bigfoot foil. Uh, I'm going to assume it's pretty good. Sweet. You can't get more, like, popular cryptid than Bigfoot. You know what I mean? Oof. Gumbero. Gumbar Gumbero. <laughs> Necromancy. Sweet. Matlocks. Sam's four-leaf clover. Gotta have your lucky four-leaf clover. Ice storm, these things. Um, Gigi bird. The, the Gigi bird. Reverse foil. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. Another thing that I've noticed here, uh, some of the cards, this this may just be a defect or something. It may just affect the first edition, so it's something to point out. Um, some of the cards only have this symbol, whatever that symbol is, uh, on the reverse foil, and some of them have that symbol with a star at the bottom. So here, you've got it's got a star with that symbol printed on the star, and here it's just the symbol. Just, so just something to note there. Oh, look, suburbia. <laughs> you got the suburban houses. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, Lake Worth monster. Oh, I hope we get the Loch Ness monster. That's another cryptid that I know of, right? Everybody knows that the Loch Ness monster. That would be pretty cool. Uncle Sam. Yeah, that's a cryptid for sure. <laughs> Oh, I love that. That's great. Holy <laughs> His attack is Liberty Smash. That is too good. Oh. <laughs> Freaking Uncle Sam. God, that's great. I wonder if they have more, like, <clears throat> national and or historical figures of a fictitious nature or even a truthful nature. Who knows? Water gun, shadow people. Oh, I like that one, too. Shadow people. Yep. I didn't know they were cryptid, but hey, that works, too. Gotta love some ghost stories about shadow people, you guys. Uh, Quetzalcoatl? No. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Light Beam, Book of Shadows, and the Kentucky Hellhound Foil. Hmm. Uh, okay, so I guess the reverse foils can be any rarity. Uh, that seems to be another thing, too, because I found some Kentucky Hellhounds in the commons and stuff. So now I'm starting to really get more of a feel of, uh, of the rarity and stuff. And then there's a forest and flame aura. Very interesting. So just like in Pokemon or any other game with a reverse foil, you can have any version of it as a hollow. And again, I'm just speculating here as this is the first time that I've, I've held this product. But now that kind of makes sense. Okay, so the star, you know how I mentioned the star earlier. So the star is not present here probably because this is not a rare card. Um, interesting. <laughs> So that's, that's another thing to think about. Okay. Space penguins, sewer alligator, uh, haste, 
Ice Spell, Retribution, and the Jersey Devil. Now that, yep, another fan. Man, I'm actually no more cryptids than I than I thought I knew. <laughs> the Jersey Devil is another famous cryptid that I've heard of. Got us another lucky four-leaf clover. Necromancy again. Uh, Anti-magic field. Book of Shadows. Luck potion. Grounding again. A holy gem. And that is reverse foil holy gem. Holy gem, you may fatigue it to produce to uh, light. So this is like a mox, I guess. So fatigue might just be tap. Uh, and there's tropical island again. River Dinos, <laughs> Pyrokinetic Blast, that's another famous magic card. I mean, I guess you can't really uh, avoid it some, you know what I mean? There's Growth, Growth, it's like Regrowth, but Growth, that's beautiful. I actually really like that. Very, very beautiful foil. We need Ned Stark up in here for this one. Winter is coming. <laughs> oh, shit. and Winterfell, <laughs> Frost Aura. Not a complete pack opening video of mine unless cards fall. Definitely dig in this Charizard one. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it, it's so inspired. I'll just name it Inspired by Charizard. <laughs> uh, Sam's EMF device. That's really cool. <laughs> Not going to lie, I had an EMF device at one point. I uh, used to do a little bit of ghost hunting back when, uh, when I could. It's a lot of fun. <clears throat> Hot egg. Hodag, yeah, Hodag. It's like Hodor, Hodag. Very interesting. And the stars again, and the water aura. Okay, Dino, River Dinos, Lake Worm, Guy, that guy, Sewer Alligator, Fire Trap. Ah, got me another Salem Witches. I'd like a foil of that, since I know it's possible. <clears throat> Just like the Kentucky Hellhound we got. Uh, Flatwoods Monster. That's cool. <laughs> it's got a UFO there. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Are there an actual... There's a breed of, like, alien monsters? Because that's cool, too. Uh, Lightning Storm. Yeah. I want to pull a card for the gray aliens. <laughs> and the reptilians and all that kind of crap. They could bring in the, uh the whole alien universe of lore and stuff, and that would be really a nice touch, too. Bunny Man, some other crap, some more stuff. Black Cat, just good old classic Black Cat. Nothing wrong with that. That'll go great in my witch deck. And probably the suburbs will, too. <laughs> Sewer alligator, some more lucky clovers. Hey, telekinesis. And these, um, I wanted to say it was like Yugi or something, but <laughs> maybe quite, maybe not. Shock aura, fog of war. There's our ghost deer again. That's a reverse foil. Overall, you guys, I am liking this. I like the feel. I mean, it is definitely uh, heavily inspired by Pokemon with a little bit of magic and other things thrown in. Uh, the red border is a little bit off-putting, but then again, Pokemon had a yellow border, so I think that they were kind of just trying to go for the opposite there. <laughs> Loveland Frogman. Uh, all right. That's pretty cool. I like it. He's in a little hat, and he's got a little staff and stuff. That looks like something you'd see in South Park. <laughs> like on Lemmy Wanks' journey, he comes across that. Lemmy Wanks, you must find your way out of this place, or you will surely die. <laughs> Yeah, but overall, I'm definitely liking it. Uh, the overall quality and feel, pretty good. Pretty good. I will I will definitely be learning how to play it and uh, see, see what the game itself is all about. Eternal Snowflake. That's like a few public figures out there. Am, am I right, guys? That's <laughs> I, mean, I guess it's kind of like another Mox type of card. There's the Raging River. And Spirit Aura. Bunny Man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, rabbit Foot again. Paralyze. 
scatter shot. Does it have storm? <laughs> uh, fire trap, hoop snake. Hoop snake is our rare. Uh, okay. That seems to be the weakest one so far. That's not very, very good, though. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's more of one of those symbolic ones where it's eating its own tail. Man, I'm hoping that I... Okay, yeah, what is the... Oh, the Jersey Devil again, reverse foil. I think that that's the second reverse foil version of it that I've gotten. Oh, what's this? Hang on. Cosmic Aura. Necromancy. Another Mothman guy. Retribution. Dragon's Breath. Here's a giant salamander. That's our reverse foil for this pack. Giant salamander. Forest and the lightning aura. Lake Worth monster. Uh, broom. Necromancy again. Silver cat. Light beam. Earthquake. Fire trap. And the bunny man foil. <laughs> yep. So we're getting some more reverse foil commons as the uh, pack goes on here, or as the box goes on. All right. Poison Arrow, Snow Snake, Shadow People again. Set that aside. River Guy, Proton Beam. Okay, so the Ghostbusters are going to be up in here. <laughs> Retribution, Dragon's Breath, and... That's a Q, I guess. Squonk. 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 I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Here's a city. That's nice. Light aura. Okay. Yep. Matlocks. Light beam. Ice spell. Blood ruby. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So that makes darkness. Darkness energy, it looks like. Uh, farm and the dark aura yeah we've seen all of these at this point and there's the bat squatch bat squatch foil <laughs> all right lake and that thing too okay we are getting down in packs you guys so that's good i think we've just got a little handful left so let's just crack on as the british say Forest God's Amber. Hmm. Digging it. Digging it, digging it. Bookmark, Scattershot, Shock Aura, Lightning Glass. Man, there's a lot of these, like, Mox cards. <laughs> so that must just be, like, uh, just nowhere near as uh, special as the Mox is. At least I would assume not. You know, there's one for every type, and it's... It's uh, pretty abundant, so there'll probably be staple cards in the decks, though, I would assume, since you get to uh, make a lot of energy with them. Uh, Kentucky Hellhound foil again, so I got two of the same reverse foil. They really like giving me that Kentucky Hellhound. All right. Shadow people again. Chaos potion. <laughs> Chaos potion's interesting. Icy path. Book of shadows. That reflection. Lake worm monster or Lake Worth. Sorry, Lake Worth monster. Reverse foil. And the island again. Oh, we're down to the last two packs. All right. All right. Let's see if we can end this on a bang or a whimper. <laughs> let's go for it. Oh, what do we got? All right. All right. We're starting out strong with a Zelda potion. And we've got, ah, the Metal Man of Alabama. <laughs> All right. That's, I think that's pretty cool. Metal Man of Alabama foil. That's actually really nice looking too. Um, damn. Very solid. Very solid. Cool. And the last pack, let's go ahead and do the traditional ASMR opening. <laughs> you 
you get to hear every glorious bit of that foil ripage. All right, here we go. Last pack. Uh, crossroads. Retribution. And the giant salamander. Oh, cue the music. <laughs> yeah, not, not the best way to end. But all right, that's cool. Overall, can't complain too much. There was uh, quite a nice variety of cards in here. The two that I had set aside as my favorites were Uncle Sam and the Chaos Crystal. And um, yeah, the Metal Man of Alabama is also joining that party too. And then of course, still got the promos. So extra stoked about that. All right, guys. Well, that concludes this MetaZoo box opening. If you liked it, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it greatly does help the channel and the algorithms and all of that. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, as well as things like Marvel cards, magic, you know, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, uh, all that kind of stuff, grading, grade reveals, grading tips, uh, definitely subscribe to the channel. Would love to have you along on that subscriber list. So thank you very much again for coming by, and I hope to see you again next time. Take care.